after we had set up and explored the functions of Novio 3D Printer itself, we're going to walk you through on how to perform your 3D printer into a CNC module or set up a standalone CNC module. Please be aware that some parts of the machine is sensitive, so we need extra care on setting up the CNC module in the Novio 3D 106 model. CNC module is a machine that can process and able to achieve many of the operations performed by cutting and drilling. You can use either wood, brass, aluminum, or plexiglass acrylic rod as a material. For standalone 106 CNC module, this process should be followed when you have purchased a standalone CNC module. First, you need to set up the base or frame of the 106 for the CNC. Get the 106 frame and unfold it by holding it on the top railing perpendicular to its base. Then attach the screws to the support rails tightly on each side of the frame to its main and top railing with the use of thumb screws. You have successfully assembled the base frame of your CNC module for transforming from 106 3D printer to CNC. This process should be followed when you're going to transform your model 106 3D printer into 106 CNC module. To begin, carefully remove the Diamond XTR extruder to the 106 3D printer by unsnapping the camlock lever upward. Next, Unscrew the DB connector located at the back of the Y assembly carriage. Then, push the print plate forward so you can release the two cam lock lever and detach the Y assembly from the base. After you have successfully set up the 106 base for a standalone CNC module or successfully removed some parts from the model 106 3D printer, Next thing to do is to attach the CNC mill bed to the base frame and secure it by locking the two cam lock levers. Then, attach and screw the DB connector at the back of the CNC mill bed. Get the CNC headstock and mount it to the third row slot of the mill bed. Make sure that the headstock is aligned on the edge of the mill bed as shown. Lock the headstock to the bed by rotating the knob in a clockwise direction. Next, get the tailstock and rotate the lever up to its maximum until it reaches the edge of the tailstock as shown. Then, mounted on the mill bed same row as the headstock facing each other. Lock the tailstock to the bed by rotating the knob in a clockwise direction. Next, get the CNC router and insert the tool bit provided in the package. Rotate the router in a clockwise direction until the tool bit moves along with the router. Then secure the tool bit by pressing the button on the router while rotating it using a small wrench. You will know that the tool bit is now locked in when it's snapped to the router while rotating it. Next, lift the Z-axis by rotating the knob in a counterclockwise direction in order to make room for the CNC router. Attach the CNC router on the left side of the motor backplate as shown. Then, connect the wiring of the router to the motor of the headstock as shown. Little by little, rotate the chuck in a reverse direction as shown to make an opening for the blank. Next, get the black material, place it on the chuck as shown. Lock it by rotating the chuck in a counterclockwise direction. Then, rotate the knob of the tailstock 
in a clockwise direction until it reaches and holds the black material. Lastly, secure the black material by rotating the lever on the tailstock as shown. Next, loosen the thumb screws located on the headstock by rotating it in a counterclockwise direction. Then, mount the protective glass and secure it by rotating the thumb screws in a clockwise direction. Then check if the switch of the CNC router is turned off before plugging in the power supply. Get the USB cable and plug it to the PCB and to the computer. Lastly, position the Y assembly up to its maximum as shown before starting to operate the machine. Great! You have now completed setting up your CNC. You already have ways in making your model in a high level of experience. You can now proceed on how to operate your CNC module tutorial video.